it's fresh and fresh. Let's go. We get out of bed, we go cast out, we take a breath. We say, okay, let's get this thing started. started. We grab our rub, we grab our bed, we get in a car. car. I am so excited, I know you are. Know you. We make a cast, we set the hook, and we let it go. Let it go. It's gonna be lit, just stick around and you will know. know. It's fresh and fresh. It's fresh and fresh. It's fresh and fresh. Hey, are we live? Oh, we're live. We're live? Oh, yeah, we're live, alright. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are doing bass fishing trivia. And our special guest coming all the way from the other side of the room. We got your little brother. And so, yeah, that's what's going to go on today. We're going to do some trivia. Each person is going to have three lives. How this is going to go, we have a quiz. There's going to be four choices, A, B, C, and D. How we will do it, we will count down. And then at one moment, we will either put a four, three, two, or one. And one is A, two is B, three is C, four is D. That's the rules for today. And, uh, yeah. Okay, guys, let's get this quiz started. And what I want you guys to do at home is to try to guess these yourself. And comment down below your score out of 11. And we'll see who's the most knowledgeable bass fisherman. Starting off with question number one. The bass's lateral line is used to... We got find mates, deck prey, find prayer... Ah, no, you guys can read. Okay, so, I think it is three, two, one. <laughs> okay, you said find mace, I said detect prey. Let's, let's say find mace and see if that's right. Oh, it was actually detect prey. I actually got that right. Okay, that's going to be one zero for us. We got it right this time. Ollie, let's just go ahead and kick that heart out of here. Okay, question number two. A bass will eat anything as big as... Three, two, one. <laughs> you said it's length? Yeah. I said it's mouth. Well, that's not true, because remember that one time when you were using your jerk, your tiny jerk, homemade jerk bait, and then that uh, blue gill came on it? Yeah, but this is bass. Okay, we're, we're going to go length. I think it's mouth. Oh, it's mouth. It's well, mouth. Well, I thought you were talking heart, about heart number two, guys. Heart number two is out of here. You're down to one heart, bro. Wait, what? isn't there four hearts? There's two. Uh, there's three hearts, bro. Oh, we're down to one heart. Okay. <laughs> Question number three. A full-size mole rodent was found in the throat of a bass? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go with true. We're gonna go with true because they wouldn't say the question unless it was if it was false. I mean, yeah, probably. Okay, that was true. Okay, okay. okay now we each get a point this time. No, <laughs> I'm still at three. You're still at one. Do you not see the hearts up there, bro? Oh yeah. Question number four: The best time to use a topwater lure is. There's two I have in mind for this, but I think I've come to a conclusion. Three, two, one. Is that a three? Okay, I said on a clear day about 70 degrees. You think it's a cloudy day about 80 degrees? Yes. Let's take a look. Here, let's press mine this time. A clear day, 70 degrees. Oh! No, oh. <laughs> it is D. <laughs> Since we got, both got it wrong, I think uh, none of us should uh, lose a heart. Okay, l let's make that rule. If we both get it wrong, nobody loses a heart. Okay. Number Question number five. A bass's scientific name is... Three, two, one. <laughs> you said four? Yeah. I feel like I've seen Bucketus Mimatus somewhere. I'm pressing that. Oh, oh. It was, it's Rocus Mississippinus. <laughs> okay, guys. A best name is Rocus Mississippinus. Okay, thank you. Next question. Question number six. Lori Rapala made his first lure out of I got one. three, two, one. <laughs> you said wood? Yeah. I said cork. We'll go with cork. Oh. oh! That's correct. You're at zero hearts now, bro. You're at zero hearts. It's bad. You gotta you gotta get a comeback. 
Guys, this calls for extreme measures. I'm gonna give you three darts. If you can hit the bullseye in one of those, I will give you three hearts back. But, I mean, it's pretty extreme. Get hitting the bullseye is pretty hard. So, let's head on over to the aeroport. Wait, what's it called? The, the dart place. We're going no, to no, the no, dart no, place. No, dart target. Dart target? No, the target. Okay, we're going to the target. There comes a time in everyone's life where shots need to be taken. Decisions need to be made. Shots need to be taken. There's only... <laughs> Pull up to like it's fire more than you know. More than you know. We say okay this time, let's give a show. Give a show. But you gotta hit that bell right down below. So don't miss out and tell me you don't know. Don't know that it's fresher than fresh, even.